All right. It's looking pretty good. Just a one more thing I'm going to do to it. Underneath the dirt layer, I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to call it logo. And I'm going to go to my stencils actually. Let me see. Yeah, I put it in decals, but just to show you how I got here. I made a uh, a file in Illustrator, which is the logo for the company that this equipment belongs to. So I can hit New, and then I'll have to find it. And in this case, I was able to get to work best with a JPEG. It's just a black and white image. So if I hit Open, and you'll see there it goes, and I can click that. And I click it and I don't see it right away, and that's because I've been using smart materials, which means that these stencils are applied based on cube mapping. So if I change that to be from camera, then you'll see there, there it is. So if I reset it because it was a little uh, squashed right there, it'll make it all uniform again. And then I can shrink it down and wherever it's white, I'll be able to paint. So I want actually a pretty solid alpha here. I'm going to move it into position. I'm going to hit 5 and then 4 on my numpad to get me to an orthographic side view. And then I'm also going to turn on uh, symmetry along the x-axis. So I'll apply it to both sides of this arm. So I'll move it. Scale it down a little bit and, and rotate it. This is where I have to be really careful. Make sure it's just the right size. There we go. And then this time I will actually paint with pure black. And, and if I reduce the opacity here to 5%, and increase my brush opacity to 100%. You'll see that we got it on both sides. Looks like I might need to erase a tiny bit there, but for the time being, and there we go, that'll show up on all those arms. And then I'll also probably try and paint it right in there, that may be a challenge considering but I can however paint it inside the 2D view instead so there you go now we got the uh, the logo on there and then I might go with my eraser tool and just chip away at that a tiny bit with, just so it isn't super perfect. That pretty much wraps up uh, this tutorial. So I hope you learned something. I hope you found it useful, but that is, those are the basics of texturing with smart materials inside of 3D Coat. The only thing left to do now is to go to textures up here and export the color map, roughness, metalness, and the tangent space normal maps. All right, thank you for watching.